Is it fair to say that, that going against K-State's crew with, with you know, the Tyler Lockett, Tremaine Thompson, you know, uh, Hunter, all those guys, that, that that's a pretty good lead-in for this group? That's a, you know, good workout? Oh, yeah, it was definitely. They had a great series, but I, I think it's going to be a, 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 a newer challenge because, I mean, really we was – Connor was a different type of athlete back there than uh, Gino would be, so I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be a way, way different towards us in the second round. We're about to really buckle down and uh, be on our assignments. Watch Virginia. Yeah, Virginia's going to be a tough one. Yeah, they're going to be a tough one. Yeah, they're going to be a tough one. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to play a complete. It's gonna take the whole defense to come and get, out and get this win. I mean, they're a good offense, they're explosive. They, like I said, run in pass. So I mean, our D linemen they're gonna have to get good pressure on run and on pass. We're gonna have to fill our gaps and make plays. What do you remember it being like defending Dana's offense in practice? I mean, you know, because you knew he was over there calling the plays, and he's he's a different kind of cat. Right. I mean, you always got to be ready. He always has something up his sleeve. He's a great play caller. So I mean, it really just comes down to playing assignment football every play, no matter what you might think it might be. Oh, you just got to play assignment football. How much have you paid attention to their season up until this point? The coast of Forest, they've obviously struggled some defensively. Have you, have you been paying much attention to that? Uh, I have been watching. I, not every game, but I mean, I always catch the ones basically because they're in the Big 12, so I, I keep a close eye on them. But, uh, I have really, I've really been trying to focus on us and what we need to do. One of the major weapons receivers are using across the country this year that's being very effective on DBs, double moves. Talk about. You know, the threat of a double move, talk about how you, as a, when you handle it perfectly in coverage, how do you do? Uh, really, it just comes down to uh, reading your keys and being focused. Um, playing the assignment of what you got to, uh, of whatever your uh, coverage is, you got to uh, do it. I mean, you can't really worry about what you receive is going to come down to you at the end of the day. If you does a double move, if you're supposed to be on top of it, you got to stay on top of it. You can't try to jump around it, but, you know, be a discipline. What about the double move? when you're in man coverage? Uh, that's a tough one. When you're in man coverage, it, 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 it's tough. And it's just one of those things that you as a DB have to deal with. So, I mean, it, it's just one of those things that you have to try to make a play on. Do you feel like you guys kind of had an edge with Fulgerson being an overbear because like, their offense is pretty strong? That's why you guys go into practice every day? Uh, I don't feel like we have an edge. I mean, I feel like it's equal because it's the same with them as it is with us. We, we pretty much run out of time.